Another really uh, exciting area that's up and coming is uranium harvesting from seawater. And that's a really old idea from the 50s or so. And uh, the genesis of it is, is that there are certain polymers, like polyethylene based, that uranium ions in the water will adsorb onto in seawater. Now it turns out there's about three micrograms of uranium ions per cubic meter of seawater. And how much is that? Well, that works out to several thousand years supply of uranium for nuclear reactors, if, even if you ran the whole planet on, on uranium-based uh, electricity. Whereas terrestrial uranium sources may die out in a hundred years. The reason we came to this area is uh, a friend of mine in the nuclear industry said, you know, Alex, we have now better polymers for the adsorption of, of uranium ions onto the polymers. But now we're facing the issue of the cost of the mechanism, the system to do this because you have to have huge, huge amounts of this polymer in order to get enough uranium. And how are you going to deploy it, pick it up, because you've got to pick the polymer up, run it through an acid bath to strip off the uranium, and then put the polymer back out. And a lot of people thought about it, some very clever people, some very, very clever ideas. Um, so it's okay, we'll give it a whirl. And this is in this design class uh, 2.75 that the uh, MIT Energy Initiative uh, sponsors. So again, we're looking for not fruit, ripe fruit trees, and we're not looking for a flock of rabbits. We're looking for rabbits in the orchard. And what we, f we came up with is, hmm, offshore wind turbines. You've got all these posts sticking out in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean. Can we design a system that hangs on them kind of like a skirt? And that machine with ropes of this polymer somehow circulates. And then this station for processing and stripping the uranium off is based right there in the wind turbine. And boats are coming out to the wind turbine to service them. They can also service uranium uh, stripping machine. So that we uh, did just finish last semester as a project. Uh, the paper has gone off for publication. We presented it at uh, one conference. Got some very, very nice feedback on it. And so we'll be good taking that to the next step of, OK, here's what we did by ourselves. A lot of good input from industry. Uh, and other researchers, now how do we get the cost out even more?